Well, I got the job of checking cattle. Uh, my brother lives well, right back over there. And he's got this ravine that he calves out in. You know, once it, uh, the snow goes, he can put them in here and it'll be pretty safe. It's easier feeding the hen than feeding in the yard at home. You know, it just gets sloppy in the yard. A lot better for them too if they can be out and walk around. But he's gone for a couple days, so I've got to kind of check because there's still a few in here that I have to calve. Most of them are done. And normally, you know, after we had that snow, <laughs> cows are kind of funny in that if there's anybody close to having a calf, <laughs> when it snows, get a storm, you'll have calves start popping. So I think I'm pretty safe here. There won't be a problem for a while. You know, I think we're going to have rain on Monday. If there's any left to calf, we'll wait till then. But i got to keep an eye on them. Like I said, for the next couple days, uh, no biggie. I've done a lot of this in my past, but this is a kind of a you know, most of them I see are right up here, but this is a long ravine that wraps way around. So I've kind of got to check this whole little meadow out. But I, I've got his four wheeler, so I'm going to put around the whole thing, make sure there ain't anybody off by themselves because that's a pretty sure sign that something's about to happen. But you can usually tell by the by their attitude. But they look pretty content down here. So I'll poke around the whole thing and see what's going on. Well, it's a good bunch. They've had a pretty good year. These mild winters are good for them. Oh, he's got more than this. This is just the ones he got here at home. He's got some out on other pastures already. But it's enough to keep a guy busy. Especially when they start calving. It keeps you busy. Because if you don't watch, you know, you can, you can have a problem that uh, could be an expensive problem. I think he's lost a couple this year, but that's not unusual. A couple of calves. You know, but that, that's not unusual, unfortunately. But you gotta watch them as close as you can. But I think these look alright. I'm just gonna have to get that four-wheeler going again. <laughs> you know, when I talk about things being too safe, they got more interlocks on that damn thing. Took me a while to figure out how to get it started even. I hadn't driven this one before, it's a Yamaha Grizzly. But, you know, they're, they're good. They work good for this kind of thing. I used to like a horse better, you know, a horse you could get in and kind of amble around right among them. But it works. 